Hey everybody, welcome back to Living Traditions Homestead. My name is Kevin, this is my wife Sarah. And uh, you know, we're not what I would call trendy kind of people. Uh, we, we try not to get caught up in different fads like diets and you know trendy food type things. Uh, but lately we've been hearing a lot about uh, this kind of fad of drinking cucumber juice. Well, I'll be completely honest, okay? We are getting like 30 cucumbers a day and uh, we're giving a bunch of them to the pigs, we're selling some of the, at the farmer's market, but we want to be able to use as many as we can ourselves. So I actually jumped online trying to find different ways to use cucumbers besides pickles because we're actually not really big pickle eaters. Uh, I do can some pickles, but we just don't go that, through that many of them in a year. So in my searching, I saw about this cucumber juice and it's all the rave and Kevin's right, we're not like super hip like fad diet kind of people, uh, but we thought, hey, if we could try this and if we liked it, uh, we might be able to freeze some of them and use uh, juice all year round. Uh, so we've decided to try it. We haven't tried it before. Right. We thought we'd try it for the first time uh, with you guys uh, and see how we like it. Because you know, I really like cucumbers, um, you know, and I eat probably two cucumbers a day this time of year. So the first thing we're going to do is juice just plain cucumbers. Uh, I picked like five decent sized ones out of the garden. We're going to juice just those first um, and try just plain cucumber juice. Well, and we want to see how much cucumber juice comes from a cucumber. Um, I think we're going to try. We, agree, we agreed to juice five cucumbers so then we can see, like multiply that by six. That's how much we would have to drink. Uh, every day for 30 cucumbers. Uh, we'll see if that's even possible, uh, but that's the first thing we're gonna do is see how much juice five cucumbers makes, and we're gonna try it. And then Kevin also picked some other things from the garden to see maybe if we can mix it in uh, right. to make some other good, healthy, fresh veggie drinks. Yeah, we looked online, we found a couple recipes of things that were pretty easy to make. We're gonna get started. I know we need to peel these first, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll start juicing. three cups. Now my first impression of this is that if we had a better juicer like this is what catches all the pulp on our juicer and there's a ton of liquid in there. So I would think if you had a better juicer you would get way more juice. But three cups is plenty. Three cups is plenty especially because most of the recipes that we saw um, say to use you know 50% Cucumber juice and 50% water. 30 cucumbers would be 18 cups of cucumber juice a day. That's a lot of cucumber juice. <laughs> I hope we like it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna dilute this in a pitcher and then we'll get started on juicing the rest of the things so we can test it out. We transferred the cucumber juice into a jar and added an equal amount of water and I'll have to say it's actually a really beautiful color. Uh, but we're gonna try it for the first time, a little bit each, and uh, see what we think. It's a little foamy on top, which is, I mean, it's a little weird. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. So, Neither one of us were really sold on just the plain cucumber juice. It was okay. I mean, it wasn't, there's was nothing bad about it. It just wasn't anything I don't think that would be, you know, a favorite. So, uh, the first thing that we're going to try adding to it is probably the easiest, which is uh, some lime juice and sugar. Right. A couple and, years ago, I had a Gatorade that is a cucumber lime Gatorade, uh, and it was very good. So, if we can replicate that, that would be awesome. What we're really hoping is to find something that, you know, is good when we're working outside and it's really hot and, you know, you know, like, like a, a good glass of lemonade is always so good when you're working outside. Right. Like, 
if we could find kind of an alternative to that since here in Missouri we can't grow lemons right that that would be great mm -hmm. so I'm adding a teaspoon of lime juice and like half a teaspoon of sugar so if we end up liking it we'll have to figure out kind of what those proportions would be in like a pitcher or in you know one of these all right all right let's try it hey that's not bad that has, that has potential that does mm. might have to play around with the proportions a little bit mm. but really that's that's pretty darn that's good that's really good now that the sugar is really dissolving yeah it was enough lime juice to actually taste the lime come through but the sugar cut down the acidity a little bit but it's not sweet no mm. that's good i that's would drink that i would drink that let's move on all right i say that's a winner that's a winner all right, so the next one we're gonna try is a tomato, just tomato and cucumber, right. right? Yeah, fresh tomato from the garden. Right, so we just picked some tomatoes this afternoon, so we're gonna put one of those through the juicer and see how that does. We juiced one tomato, it gave us about a half a cup of juice. So we are going to put about a quarter cup of the tomato juice in each of our Cucumber juice cups and see how that goes. I've got a prediction. I think I'm going to like it and I don't think Sarah's going to like it. But remember, Weirdo over here doesn't like raw tomatoes. I, I told you off camera that I will give it a shot. She I will give it a fair shot. She said she'll give it a fair shot. It is a, it's a pretty color. All right. Hey, I like it. But I told you what I would need. Some pink salt. I'll try with salt and make, see if it makes it any better. It does. Reminds me of like a V8. If you guys like V8, that's what this kind of tastes like. I like it. That is not a winner for me. It is for me. All right, so now we're gonna try it with carrot. We were gonna do carrot tomato, but since we already know Sarah didn't like tomato, we're gonna try it just cucumber carrot and see how we like that. Okay, so we put three carrots through, gave us about a quarter of a cup of carrot juice. Again, a better juicer, I'm sure would do a much better job, but hey, I'm, that's okay. So I'm gonna just divide it between the two cups and see. I've never had carrot juice before. Have you had carrot juice before? I have, in things, hmm. so we'll see. Ooh, it's pretty color. Looks like orange juice. Hmm. I give that one a no for me. It's kind of weird. I like it better than the tomato juice. You do? <laughs> yes. Honestly, all I taste is the cucumber. It just still tastes like cucumber juice well, to me. Well, it mellowed the cucumber juice. I'm sure it's good for you. Yeah. But to me, it's not something I would drink a lot of. I don't mind it, but I like the lime better. All right, so, so far we've got lime and tomato that I would drink and lime and that you would. Carrot if I had <laughs> to. <laughs> All right. So this last time we're gonna mix the cucumber juice with uh, some lime basil that we are growing in the garden. Just put that on our blender and blend this up. Fill them up. I don't know. If, you know, maybe letting it sit for a while would make it stronger. Maybe. But we'll see. Definitely changed the color of the juice, so it did yeah. something. All right, let's try it. Hmm. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. It is really good. It has the lime flavor without the acid, without that really sour yeah. taste. It's actually really good. Yeah, I like that a lot. The aftertaste is really good. 
Well, this definitely is just the tip of the iceberg for us. I think we've concluded that we like enough combinations for us to start juicing cucumbers and probably save some for the winter so we can pull it out and have fresh juice all uh, winter long. If you know any combinations of different things that we can mix in with a cucumber juice, please let us know in the comment section below or in our Facebook group called Traditionalists with Living Traditions Homestead. If this is your first time visiting our homestead, I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button before you leave. Uh, for those of you who come back and watch us five days a week for all of our new videos, we sure do appreciate you. And until next time, thanks for stopping by the homestead. Take care and God bless. God bless.